Hi, my name is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works. And in today's series, the Made with Power App series, we're gonna show you a Power App and some of the business requirements we had, and then show you how we solve those business requirements. Today's video is all around how to do inspections with Power Apps, so stay tuned. A common request I get from my videos is to show some applications that we may have built and what are some of the requirements for those and how we solve those. So today's application, we're going to be doing an inspection app for a fire department. We're going to show you some of the code that we made and the business requirements those solved. So first of all, there's a, what, are the, what are the requirements? One of the requirements was, first of all, it was going to be a phone application or optimized for the phone to go through and do an inspection on vehicles that they had in their fleet. And this is the daily inspection different fire chiefs and, and uh, different people were doing from the rescue force. So in this case, they had a variable amount of questions they wanted to be able to adjust in an admin application. So for a engine, for example, a fire engine, they might have an inspection you know, looking at the ladder, looking at the, their license that's in the car and all those kind of things, the pressure and the gauges and all that. Where in an ambulance, their requirements might be completely different. The requirements there might be, hey, is there certain kinds of rescue equipment there for emergencies? Is there a defibrillator in the car? And all those kind of things. So the requirements were different based on what kind of vehicle you would have. The, so the questions would also have to be different, and we didn't want to have to code a screen for every kind of question type there was. The other kind of requirement we had was be able to uh, uh, walk away from inspection that was in progress. So if I'm a fire chief, I'm inspecting an ambulance, and an emergency call comes in, I can't finish my inspection and then go to the emergency call afterwards. I need to basically pause that, walk away from it, and whatever question I'm on will be saved and then come back to it at a later time. The last requirement we had is be able to gather the, the, uh, the survey or the, um, the inspection notes from the last day and copy them over to today. So in other words, if uh, there are very few things change from inspection to inspection. So the fact that license is in the car, yep, it was there yesterday and it's still there today. I don't want to have to go and hit yes, hit yes, hit yes every single day. I want to assume it's there and then hit no if it's not there. So make a very simple application from an end user perspective. Well, the more simple sometimes you make it from an end user perspective, the harder it can become from a developer perspective. So let's take a look at the application first and where it came from. So this is a, an example of the application. And this is a, again, for a fire department. I'm gonna do it, you'll see uh, 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 inspections that I already have in flight. And if I hit new inspection here, I'm gonna do an inspection for an engine. Here is engine 15 right here. Uh, I can go ahead and swap out the vehicle right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume I'm gonna create a new inspection. First question is gonna ask is how many miles are on the car? I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, 500 miles. Okay, you can have less miles than the previous day. And what we're seeing here in Power Apps is one screen that we're able to utilize multiple ways. So in other words, what's happening is it's reading from a database what questions it should ask. You're seeing in that same area to my, to my left there, excuse me, uh, you're seeing also in there uh, uh, the questions and the answers from the previous inspection. So all those answers came over, so next time I do this, it will have the same answer. So we're seeing that, hey, this, uh, this, this, the CDL license, the, the commercial license is there now, yes, and hit okay, and then I loop. So even though you're seeing categories here, light inspection, hit next again. Uh, you're seeing batteries, okay, and so on. So these are the types of categories of questions we're answering for each of our guys here. Once we're all done, we'll be able to review all the questions we asked and then sign off on the inspection. That's the last part of this. So let's take a look at the guts of what's driving this behind the scenes. So first of all, let me get rid of my face so you can see the full screen here. And let's go to our database first. That's all good things start in our how we're storing our data. So first of all, we have a list of item questions. The items in my case are going to be things like uh, the types of questions that we're asking. So an item you're seeing here, a vehicle item, is a question that we're going to ask. The category was what you saw, the, the category questions like tires, like license, like rescue equipment, and all those. And then lastly, you're seeing as soon as we start the inspection, we're copying all the inspection, uh, all the previous inspections over to, we're creating an inspection here, and then we're copying over all the, oops, whoop, uh-oh, it just crashed on me. They were copying over all the previous records into this vehicle inspection 
item area. So when I create an inspection, I'll create one record here and then call it 50 records here, one for each question we ask. So that way I can walk away and then come back at any point in time. The other thing we want to do is we want to loop over the list of categories and find out, all right, I'm doing the tire inspection. What's next? What's next? What's next? And so on. So to do that, you're going to see that in this uh, query right here. We created a whole series of views, which are generally the best way to implement this inside of Power Apps. So what you're seeing is I'm looking at the uh, list of uh, questions that we have, and I'm looking at a list of our cat of questions, excuse me, and then I'm seeing this is the categories I have. Now, this lead and lag is saying, right now, I'm looking at category five. What's my next category? And what is the previous category? So I can go back and forth. So just a quick, quick uh, if I were to do a quick uh, query here. There we go. This is for all vehicle types here. But you're seeing what the results look like is the ability to say, all right, if I'm on category ID 13, uh, for inspection 73, for example, my next category is going to be category 8, for example. And my previous one I just did was 1. Uh, and you can see the last uh, inspection date here as well, and how many questions there are in that category. So I wanted to create an Uber kind of view like we're seeing right here that can kind of drive the next, next, next. And that next, next, next in the Power App side it looks like this. So we're basically hitting that view right you just saw a moment ago and saying, passing in what, what, what inspection ID I'm in right now and what category I'm in right now. And then it shows me a list of questions based on that. Now, for every time I click a, 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 a question answered, we want to be able to walk away from that, right? So if I go up and zoom in a little closer here, you're noticing every time I, I, have an, uh, I do look at this guy and I do an on change event, there we go. Well, there we go. We run a patch command to basically send that answer up to the database. So by doing that, we're able to ultimately walk away from the inspection. And then when I come back, I am saved at that point in time. Also, every time I hit next, we save that point at what category was answered also. So in our table, we can see what category you're currently on during that inspection. So you can come right back to it. And then what question you're at also. So going back over here again, you'll see in this diagram right here that there is a uh, previous inspection date. We can tell where we were before. And then what question you're on as well. So in this inspection right here, we can see what category you're presently uh, doing your inspection on also. And we also log the signature uh, um, JPEG link out there as well. Uh, the mileage, this is, this is for storing the mileage of the vehicles. So we can come back to any time. Now the cool thing about this is, because this is flexible schema, this same schema can work for whether you're doing a warehouse inspection or an equipment inspection at a, at a uh, factory or maybe doing an inspection of an employee. It's basically just asking a list of questions and getting a list of answers and driving this whole gallery based on that. And you're, you're seeing right here we have the vehicles and all that, but these vehicles that you're seeing here and uh, could easily be something like, uh, there's my vehicle right there. This could easily be something like uh, um, uh, a factory line or some kind of piece of, some expensive piece of equipment that you want to do inspections on. So that vehicle table can easily be derived for whatever kind of scenario you have in your inspections for that. Could also be for a property inspector potentially. So going back over here again, uh, the last thing you'll notice, we have a, a series of views because Power Apps has some challenges around running queries, we have a series of views here to kind of drive most of the application. So for example, if I'm looking at this right here, you're seeing that this, these questions are, are driven from a view. Um, also all the notes are as well. But if I scroll down and I hit next, you're seeing that we have a whole slew of things that kick off as soon as you do that. So for example, we, we uh, have, a, have a spinner that runs. So if, if the application's running slow or the database is running slow about right then, we have a spinner that starts. We ask what, from, the, from the view, what is the next category based on the previous category? We then have a whole local collection that we do to kind of uh, store all the IDs. And then we do a patch command to say, hey, this is, the, this is currently from the vehicle inspection. I'll then write back the category that I'm currently working on. So that way the, app, the, cat, the, the system knows where we're at. If I hit finish later, it will then go ahead and navigate back to the home screen and log what category you're on. So this is a functionally the, the way the applications worked. It, uh, it's a pretty clean, oh, wants me to say, it's also making sure that I feel that I actually answer, answer the questions. See that spinner right there? And then at the very end, when I'm all done, oh, it wants to make sure that I've actually done one. As you see, I've missed, I missed actually doing one of the questions. There we go. And then I've got one more here, screen to do. And then I'll hit next there. 
Okay. Well, let me get rid of my little warning symbol here. And I think this is my last one. Miscellaneous equipment. I'll hit next. Oh, and then here we go. Oh, of course, I didn't answer that question. <laughs> You gotta answer some, some way some way here. And at the very last screen here, we have a, um, a, a, a an area where we want to preview all the questions you've answered. So I'm, I'm like one away from it, I think. There's actually 13 categories. Here we go. The last area there has was goes to preview. Now this is going to be the same screen you saw before, but now it's for every single question you've had. I can hit edit and do all that. So basically, it's a gallery with no filter on it in this case. So I'm not asking the category anymore. When I do complete. We then just go ahead and sign it however we wish on our iPad and then agree and then essentially we're now submitted. So really simple application, but the goal of the application was to make it very, very simple. Now we went with a form factor of a phone, vertical form factor, but it could be any kind of form factor you wish. The main theme of this though is limiting the amount of screens you have and then we have a whole set of admin pieces behind this also to where uh, a, the customer can add their own questions, move things around, move things to a new category and so on. So it's a really cool, I think, a, a simple application that can be used in a number of ways and I hope you get some use out of the, the, the concept and the pattern, at least, for your applications. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email those to me. I'm b9 at PragmaticWorks. Uh, you can also hit us up at, uh, at, at PragmaticWorks.com. We love to build apps for you. And we also do training around Power Apps as well. Uh, thanks for watching this video on, on how we made it with Power Apps. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I'm at the bank making money, making moves. Machines with tools and drills, making grooves. Missions impossible, that's lots of I'm upside down, hanging like Tom Cruise. Loud.